Microsoft and Unity have recently released a new package that makes Visual Studio Code integration much better and faster to set up. If you don't have Visual Studio Code installed, the one with the blue icon, simply download it from the official website. Open Unity and make sure that your project is on Unity 2019 or newer. Older versions might not work. In your project, go to Window, Package Manager, select Unity Registry and search for Visual Studio. You will probably get those two results. The first one, Visual Studio Code Editor, is a legacy package and we should remove it. Click on it and select Remove. The second one, Visual Studio Editor, is the one that is interesting to us. Click on it and make sure that the latest version is installed. There is a chance that your project already has it, but you need to update it. Once it is done, close this window and still in Unity, go to Unity, Settings, or on Windows, Edit Preferences. And on the left, select External Tools tab. Here we can select what is our default script editor. In this dropdown, you should already see Visual Studio Code option. If not, click Browse and find it in one of the paths displayed below. Once selected, you'll probably see this grey text saying Visual Studio Editor 2. something enabled. That is a good sign. At the end, click Regenerate Project Files. Now close this window and go to Assets, Open C Sharp Project. That should open a new Visual Studio Code window with your project files, but we're not done just yet, because the suggestions are still not working. Go to the Extensions tab and search for Unity. This is an official package that will handle all the setup for us. Just click Install. The install itself may be very quick, but it will probably take a second to download all required .NET dependencies in the background. Wait till here in the bottom left you will see Projects and a number. Now restart the Visual Studio Code, just close it and open it once again through the Unity Open C Sharp Project option. This time, after the second of loading, you should see a new window with IntelliSense suggestions fully working. Try it out by typing for example transform.position equals vector2.1. If it works, leave a like under the video. Thanks! Here are a few quick tips and extensions to install. First, install Unity Toolbox extension. It will enable some code snippets like Awake on Enable. It will also show you info about Unity built-in methods and some descriptions if you forget what each one does. If you don't like those small grey texts above each method, go to Visual Studio Code settings and search for Code Lens. You can disable them just like that. If you'd like to debug your code, place a breakpoint next to the code line, go to the Run and Debug tab and click Start Debugging. If you see this pop-up, click Enable Debugging for all projects. Now when your code will reach this breakpoint, a Visual Studio Code will show up. And the last one, remember that Visual Studio Code has amazing theming capabilities. Just go to Code, Settings, Theme, Color Theme and check out the different options. My favorite one is Monokai or even Monokai++ from the extensions page. As always, thanks a lot to my awesome patrons that support this channel. See you soon!